Hello everyone. Welcome to Remote Learning Program of Nalanda. Hope so all are doing well. Ashra is here. Let us utilize this lockdown for the betterment of language learning. Here, the first topic I have taken is prepositions. That is prepositions of time. At, on, in. The rules for the most basic prepositions of time are at for points in time. For example, at 10 o'clock at the end of this month etc on for days and dates because they are the same thing as in for example on monday on diwali day on 27th may etc in for some time within longer periods such as months seasons years decades and centuries for example in march in the early 1950s in the middle of June, etc. Now, students, here I have an amazing video so that you can go through the video of time prepositions and please utilize these prepositions in your daily usage. Thank you. The prepositions of time at, on and in describe when something happens happened or will happen. What is the difference between at, on and in? Let's have a look. At is used for a specific time or hour of the day. We say at 8 a.m., at 9 o'clock, at 6.15, at midnight. For example, I get up at 7 o'clock. The movie starts at 8.30. We arrived home at midnight. Look at the first example. I get up at 7 o'clock. What does o'clock mean? O'clock is used when there are no minutes. When the big hand, or the minute hand, is on the number 12. The clock here shows that it is 2 o'clock. O'clock, because there are no minutes. Let's look at the last example. He arrived home at midnight. We say at midnight because midnight is a specific hour. It is 12 o'clock at night. And what is the opposite of midnight? The opposite is midday or noon, which is 12 o'clock during the day. The word afternoon comes from after plus noon, which is after 12. At is also used for a holiday period or festival. We say at Christmas, at Thanksgiving. We are not talking about a specific day. No, we're talking about that period of the year. The examples. They sing carols at Christmas. Did you eat too much at Easter? Come and visit us at Thanksgiving. We use on for specific days. We say on Monday, on Tuesday, on Friday, on Sunday. Notice how the days of the week always start with a capital letter. Monday is with a capital M, a big M not a small one. Here are some example sentences. I will visit you on Wednesday. Where were you on Friday? He doesn't work on Sundays. Now, why is there an S at the end of Sunday? It is because we are talking about all Sundays in general and not just this Sunday. He doesn't work on Sundays in general. It is important to note that we do not have an article 
between the preposition on and the day of the week. We do not say, I will visit you on the Wednesday. No. And we do not say, I will visit you the Wednesday. Again, no. It is possible to say, I will visit you Wednesday, though it is more common to use the preposition on with the day. We also use on with dates. For example, on the 19th, on May 4th, on New Year's Day. All of these are dates. Let's look at some example sentences. His birthday is on March 27th. We open our gifts on Christmas Day. Christmas Day is a specific date. It is the 25th of December or December 25th. So we say on Christmas Day. The final sentence is the exam is on the 16th. Remember that for the dates we use ordinal numbers. We say the 16th ending in th. See our video about how to say the date in English. The preposition in is used with months. We say in February, in March, in May, in July. Notice how the months of the year always start with a capital letter. August is with a capital A, a big A, not a small one. Let's look at some example sentences. My birthday is in January. I'm going on vacation in August. Halloween is in October. We don't mention a specific day, just the month. So we use the preposition in before that month. Now let's look at this. The Brazilian National Day is in September. We use in because we only mention the month. We don't say the day. In September. The Brazilian National Day is on September 7th. Why do we use on? Because we're talking about a specific day. It doesn't matter if the month comes first. We still use on because it is a day of the month. The Brazilian National Day is on the 7th of September. Again, we use on because we're talking about a specific day. As you can see, the order of the month and the day is not important, as we are still talking about a specific day. See our video about how to say the date in English. The preposition in is also used with years. We say in 1629, in 1984. In 1999. In 2017. See our video about how to say the year in English. Let's look at some example sentences. Shakespeare was born in 1564. The Titanic sank in 1912. The treaty was signed in 1840. The preposition in is also used with decades. A decade is a period of 10 years. We say in the 1960s, in the 60s. Notice how an apostrophe is used at the beginning to replace the 19 part. You can also write the decade as a word, in the 60s. 
in the 70s. Also notice how we use the article the before the decade, in the 60s. We do not put an apostrophe between the number and the final s. Let's look at some example sentences. Life was difficult in the 1940s. There were many hippies in the 60s. The music was great in the 80s. The preposition in is also used with centuries. A century is 100 years. We say in the 18th century, in the 10th century. We use ordinal numbers when referring to centuries. We say 16th century and not 16th century. Also notice how we use the article the before the number. Let's look at some example sentences. We are living in the 21st century. It was built in the 6th century. It was invented in the 18th century. The preposition in is also used with the seasons in English. We say in winter, in spring, in summer, in autumn. The seasons are not written with capital letters. Let's look at these example sentences. We go to the beach in summer. Does it snow here in winter? There are many flowers in spring. We use the preposition in with a period of time. We say in six hours, in two days, in three weeks, in five years. In plus a time period can refer to a point of time in the future. It shows a certain length of time that starts now. And usually at the end of that time period something will happen. If now it is January and I say I'm going to Japan in four months, the point in the future is four months from now. This means I will travel in May. Let's look at some examples. The meeting starts in 10 minutes. This means it will start 10 minutes from now. When the 10 minutes have gone by, the meeting will start. She will be here in 3 hours. We're going in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks means 2 weeks. You can see that we commonly use in with a number and then the time period. In 10 minutes, in 3 hours, in 4 months. For parts of the day, we normally use in. We say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but we say at night. Be careful, at night, not in the night. For example, I drink coffee in the morning. He goes to the gym in the morning. I study English in the afternoon. She is often tired in the afternoon. We have dinner in the evening. They watch movies in the evening. I like to read in bed at night. You can see the stars at night. When we include a day with a part of the day, we use the preposition on before it. On Sunday evening. On Thursday afternoon. We do not put anything between the day of the week and the part of the day. 
we say on Wednesday afternoon. We do not say Wednesday in the afternoon. No. Some example sentences. We will have a party on Friday night. Our flight leaves on Monday morning. I have private lessons on Tuesday afternoon. When we talk about the weekend, you may hear at the weekend or on the weekend. What is the difference? At the weekend is used in British English. On the weekend is used in American English. We used to always go to the beach at the weekend. We used to always go to the beach on the weekend. So both prepositions can be used. It depends on where you are speaking English. Another important expression is at the moment. We do not say in this moment when we're talking about now, right now, or at the present time. I don't want to talk about it at the moment. He's a little tired at the moment, but he'll be fine later. At the moment, she is working on her new book. Last, next, this, every. We do not use a preposition, at, on, or in, before these words. So we don't say, the party is on next Friday. No, we say the party is next Friday. You can also say the party is on Friday, but without using next. Here are some more examples. They went to the mountains last month. We're going to New Zealand next year. He went to the gym this morning. She visits her parents every Sunday. 